I never imagined a plant could be so terrifying. It started innocently enough. My girlfriend, Sarah, knew I had a fascination with exotic plants, so for my birthday, she surprised me with a small Venus flytrap. It was a quirky gift, one that added a touch of green to our apartment. I named it Audrey, after the famous man-eating plant from Little Shop of Horrors, never suspecting how apt that name would become. At first, Audrey was just like any other plant, small, delicate, and intriguing. Its vivid green leaves snapped shut eagerly whenever an insect wandered too close, satisfying its hunger with a few hapless flies and gnats. The smell of mildew, though faint, was strangely satisfying, a sign that Audrey was thriving. But as the weeks passed, Audrey began to change. Its leaves grew larger, more robust, and its appetite seemed insatiable. It devoured larger insects with ease, moths, beetles, even the occasional small spider. The smell of mildew intensified, permeating our small apartment with a musty, earthy odor that clung to everything. I started to notice other changes too. The air around Audrey seemed charged, almost electric, as if the plant itself pulsed with a strange energy. I couldn't shake the feeling that it was watching me, its tiny eyes, or what looked like eyes, following my every move. Sarah brushed off my concerns, attributing Audrey's growth to optimal conditions and good care. But I couldn't ignore the nagging sense of unease that settled over me whenever I was near the plant. It felt wrong somehow, like I was harboring a predator in our home. One evening, as I watered Audrey, I noticed something that made my blood run cold. A tiny, half-digested lizard nestled among its leaves. Its tail twitched feebly, and I recoiled in horror. Audrey had never eaten anything that large before. The smell of mildew was overwhelming now, a sickly sweet stench that made my stomach churn. I confronted Sarah, panic rising in my voice. There's something wrong with Audrey, I insisted. It's not just a plant anymore. It's, it's dangerous. She laughed it off, dismissing my fears as paranoia. It's just a plant, honey. It can't hurt anyone. But I couldn't shake the feeling that Audrey was growing stronger, more aggressive. Its leaves continued to swell, stretching wider and wider, as if preparing for something larger. The air in our apartment felt heavy, oppressive, filled with the smell of mild. One night, as I lay awake in bed, I heard a strange rustling sound coming from the living room. Heart pounding, I crept out of bed and tiptoed down the hallway. The smell of decay hit me like a wave as I entered the room, making me gag. And there, in the dim light filtering through the curtains, I saw Audrey, or what was left of it. Its once vibrant leaves were now dark and twisted, oozing a thick black sap that dripped onto the carpet. The plant was no longer confined to its pot. It had grown vines that snaked across the floor, searching for something. I followed the vines with caution, my eyes widening as they led me to the corner of the room. There, lying motionless on the floor, was our cat, Mittens. Horror washed over me as I realized what had happened. Audrey had grown large enough to capture and consume our beloved pet. Tears streamed down my face as I knelt beside Mittens. The smell of decay and the sickening sight of Audrey's vines coiling around her still body forever etched in my mind. Sarah rushed into the room, screaming in horror at the sight before her. We have to get rid of it, I said, my voice trembling. We have to destroy Audrey before it, before it kills someone else. Sarah nodded, her face pale with shock. Together, we carefully unplugged Audrey's pot from the wall, severing its connection to the nutrient-rich solution that had fueled its monstrous growth. The plant thrashed and writhed as we carried it outside, its tendrils lashing out in a desperate bid for survival. With trembling hands, I grabbed a shovel and dug a deep hole in the backyard. The smell of mildew was overpowering now, mingling with the fresh scent of overturned earth. Sarah handed me Audrey, its leaves snapping open and shut in a final, futile attempt to catch prey. I hesitated for a moment, 
staring into Audrey's dark, soulless eyes. Then, with a cry of fear and determination, I plunged the shovel into its roots, severing them from the soil. Audrey let out a final, eerie shriek, its leaves wilting and collapsing as life drained from it. We buried Audrey deep in the ground, covering it with dirt and packing it down until no trace remained. The air around us felt lighter now, the oppressive weight of Audrey's presence finally lifted. But the smell of mildew lingered, a haunting reminder of the horror we had faced. As we stood there in the moonlight, holding each other close, I couldn't help but wonder, was Audrey truly gone, or had we merely delayed the inevitable 